सुपर कंप्यूटर सिम्युलेट्स व्हाट विल हैपन टू एल निनो लानिना इन अ वार्मर वर्ल्ड रिजल्ट्स आर वरिंग वाइल द एल निनो पीरियड इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय वार्मिंग और इंक्रीज सी सरफेस टेम्परेचर्स इन द सेंट्रल एंड ईस्टर्न ट्रॉपिकल पैसिफिक ओशन अ लालीना इवेंट कॉजेस द वाटर इन द ईस्टर्न पैसिफिक ओशन टू बी कोल्डर दैन यूजल एल निनो एंड लालीना द टू नेचुरल क्लाइमेट फेनोमिना occurring across the tropical pacific ocean influence the weather conditions all over the world while the el nino period is characterized by warming or increased sea surface temperature in the central and eastern tropical pacific ocean a la nina event causes the water in the eastern pacific ocean to be colder than usual together they are called enso or el nino southern oscillation There is a growing body of research suggesting that climate change can cause extreme and more frequent El Nino and La Nina events. What are the recent findings? A paper published last week in Nature Climate Change noted that increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide can cause a weakening of future simulated Enso sea surface temperature variability. They note that the intensity of the Enso temperature cycle can weaken as CO2 increases. Professor Axel Timmerman, the co-corresponding author, explained in a release, "Our research documents that unabated warming is likely to silence the world's most powerful natural climate swing, which has been operating for thousands of years." we don't yet know the ecological consequences of this potential no analog situation but we are eager to find out timmerman is the director of the ibs center for climate physics iccp at pushan national university in south korea how did they find this the team used one of south korea's fastest supercomputer alf According to the ICCP it would take single human 45 million years to complete the calculations that the supercomputer can perform in 1 second Our supercomputer ran non-stop for over 1 year to complete a series of century long simulations covering present day climate and two different global warming levels The models generated 2 quadrillion bytes of data enough to fill up 2000 hard disk said one of the authors dr sunny sun sion lee in a release the team conducted climate model simulations to understand enso's response to global warming what will happen when there are co2 doubling and co2 quadrupling 4 into co2 scenarios they noticed sea surface temperatures anomalies at co2 doubling conditions and it became robust at co2 quadrupling how does this collapse mean the team studied the movement of atmospheric heat to decode the collapse of the enso system they explain that future el nino events will lose heat to the atmosphere more quickly due to the evaporation of water vapor also in the future there will be reduced temperature difference between the eastern and western tropical pacific inhibiting the development of temperature extremes during enso cycle the team also studied tropical instability waves a prominent feature in the equatorial pacific they note that there can be weakening of these waves in the projected future which can cause a disruption of the la nina event there is a tug of war between positive and negative feedback in the enso system which tips over to the negative side in a warmer climate this means future el nino and la nina events cannot develop their full amplitude anymore comments iccp alumni professor maltes twicker co-author of the study in a release thank you